Alright guys, let's get the show on the road. So it's DLC day. Lots of new things to get our teeth into. New track, of course, Sukuba. Which I last played on... Woo! Um... Forza... Three? Forza... Yeah, Forza Three. Forza Four. Super GT. Three Group Two cars. So the start of the new Group Two class. Called it. About two months ago. Okay, GT Sport has been updated. So let's have a quick flick through. So, yep, yeah, we've got 13 cars for GT40, Aston DB11, the old E30 M3, Skyline R33, the first of the GT uh, Super GT cars, the uh, Nissan GTR, uh, GTR Nismo 2017, the Honda NSX Super GT car, uh, the old RX7, another Lexus RCF Group, uh, group 3, GT3 ML3, uh, ML3 Racing 1. Uh, which is the official RCF basically. So the one we had before was just a prototype, 2016 prototype. Uh, the uh, Super GT RCF. Uh, then we've got the two Red Bull 2014s, the Junior and the Standard. Be interesting to see what they're like. Uh, and then random custom American Muscle. Scuba circuit, if you've never driven Scuba before, very, very, very quick circuit. Around about, well, it depends on what car you're driving, but it's not a long lap around. Uh, well, I think the fastest production cars do it in about 50-something seconds. Um, but yeah, it's kind of multi-purpose, multi-faceted Scuba. So not only is it kind of like a time attack track, but also it's a... Track used quite a lot for drifting as well, as you can tell by the uh, long, consistent radius sweepers and things like that. But it is good, quite technical, quite challenging. Track that I used to enjoy quite a lot on Forza. Just have a quick look at the chat, catch up with everyone, see who's in here today, who's joined us. Eight hundred thousand credits for each group two. Wow, I need to I need to credit grind, ASAP, ASAP Rocky. A couple of new GT League events, by the looks of things. I just need to change my. Uh... Isn't this the first time that Sakuba's been in Gran Turismo? I don't know, to be fair. This is my first Gran Turismo game, really. Tray Blossoms, Museums, and VR Time Trials. So it's a, a pretty healthy update. We're going to have a look at the BOP changes and stuff like that in a second. I'm just going to quickly change the settings on my phone because it keeps uh, turning the screen off after about three seconds, which isn't good when I'm trying to... Uh, Trying to read the chat. Auto lock. Never. Alright, let's try again. 800,000 credits for each group two. I don't know why I don't have credits. I just don't, I just don't race enough. I really do not race enough. It's a massive thing that I need to sort out. Let's have a look at these BOP changes. So these are today's. The balance of performance of the following cars has been adjusted. So group three. Uh, well, the BMWs have been nerfed into the floor, like absolutely viciously attacked by polyphony. Not only the uh, M6, but also the M4. Uh, but we'll come on to that in a second. Um, the Chevy, the Corvette Group 3, is probably now going to be the fastest car in class. Don't understand why they buff that. Really don't understand it. Uh, because it was already quite fast. Uh, 
Honda NSX. I, d I don't know if that will bring it to a competitive level or not. We'll have to do some uh, testing, but I'm not holding my breath. The NSX has been been really poor since uh, since forever. Uh, Huracan with a little buff as well. Uh, the new Lexus RCF. Very difficult, obviously, to place that because I don't know, uh, you know, anything really about it yet. A uh, little nerf for the MG GT3, which again is, is unfortunate. It, it didn't need a nerf, especially in comparison to the uh, the Corvette. And the Subaru's had a bit of a power buff as well. Group 4. Uh, so the Aston Martin has lost some power. And also had some uh, weight added to it. So that's a double nerf. Uh, the Alpha 4C has had a 3% power increase and a decrease in weight. So basically, that car is going to dominate Group 4 again. I'll be extremely surprised if it doesn't. Because it was already fast. It just wasn't used that much. I think I'm pretty sure the 4C was the fastest car on Brands Hatch anyway. The short tracks, that's going to absolutely obliterate everything, I think. Uh, Audi TT's had a bit of a power nerf. Be able to do M4 Group 4. So this has had a triple nerf. Obviously, you can't see one of them on screen, but it's had a power nerf, it's had a weight nerf, and it's had a fuel consumption nerf. So the whole landscape of Group 4 is going to change quite dramatically, I think, today. It's just kind of getting a handle on whereabouts everything's going to drop. Uh, Veyron has had a bit of a power buff. Uh, Corvette has had a bit of a weight reduction buff. More power for the NSX again. Not holding my breath on those. I don't, I don't know where they'll be. They're, they're absolutely nowhere anyway, so we'll have to see. Um, RCF. It's, it's just very difficult. Sorry, just a bit. Carry on, kind of carry on with that last point. It's very difficult to imagine NSX being competitive when it has a 2% power increase, when a car like the Alpha has a 3% power increase and a weight reduction buff. It doesn't make any sense. Now, I don't understand. Polyphony seems to have a really weird approach to uh, balancing classes. Rather than tackle the obvious issues, like the M4 in Group 4, uh, like the M6s in, in Group 3 or the, or the Porsche before, they they go at everything. They do something to every car, and it's uh, it just doesn't make sense to me that like, rather than attack everything, just one by one, just knock the cars down that come to a point where they're too good or too competitive, and eventually you're gonna have a nice balanced landscape or somewhere close to it. But when you change everything every time puts you back at a situation where you're you, you change the entire meta so it's much more difficult to achieve balance so i, I don't you know they, they, they have testers they have people that look into this all the time but there's there's no better uh demographic for testing than the people that actually play the game and play the game a lot which is why obviously you get these cars that come to the fore that need need nerfing etc etc they just need to focus on the cars that are actually an issue rather than trying to do too much in every single patch because not all of these cars needed changing it's like the alpha in my opinion definitely didn't need a buff the aston wasn't horrendous it wasn't a horrific car it wasn't you know grossly overpowered by the looks of things, the Atenza has been left completely well alone, which again is a mistake. Because that car, a lot of circuits, if if it wasn't for the M4's horrendous fuel rate, uh, you know, and short shifting bug, or if it was a bug or, or not, then the Atenza would have been the car of choice. But that's been completely left alone. It's not, it doesn't even appear in the, in the patch notes, so... I don't know, but anyway, we've kind of gone off the uh, got off the subject. But I, yeah, it just doesn't make any sense. Um, so yes, the NSX has been had a bit of a power buff. So has the Lexus uh, and the 650s and the Lancer and the GTR. Uh, Cayman's had a bit of a weight buff, but the Cayman's absolute dog shit. 
so it will never, yeah. Um, WRX, bit of a power buff. It's actually a sleeper decent car, WRX. And the Toyota 86 uh, has had a weight reduction buff as well. The GT86 isn't a slow car either. It just seems like every time they nerf or buff certain cars, they change others around them and it doesn't make sense. So like, why, why buff cars like the NSX, like the Veyron, to bring them up to a, or like the, the Lancer even, or the, the, the GTR, to bring them up to a level where they're competitive, but then move everything else away from it. So move the Alpha away from it, move the GT86 away from it. It's almost like they have like a cycle where, you know, they want to uh, showcase certain manufacturers or whatever. And so like, okay, we'll make these OP for this month and then next month we'll change it and we'll change it to a different car. It's just weird. But yeah, there the BOP change is going to be a lot to get our teeth into with that, obviously in the new G uh, Group 2 class as well. One thing I've noticed is there's never ever any BOP changes to Group 1. Which is weird. But yeah, let's uh, have a look into some there. Uh, <clears throat> some of the new content rather than focus on anything else. So, if I'm correct, it's not actually that long until the next update, <clears throat> which is odd. Kind of a weird timing because I think on the like 9th of April we get the Supra and stuff like that. So, be interesting. Okay. So by the looks of things, we're going to have to do a bit of credit grinding to get enough credits to actually earn some of these cars. Which is a bit of a pain in the backside. But let's have a look at them anyway. I think there is a Ford in this patch, is there? Oh, yeah, there is a GT40. Duh, duh, duh. 2.8 million. Yep, yeah, that's uh, fairly priced, I guess. Beautiful car. Steeped in uh, steeped in history, only available in red apparently. I doubt it will be very long before someone paints that up in the golf colours. Kind of paint job, kind of synonymous with the car. Yeah, looking forward to driving that. What class is it in actually? M four hundred. That could be uh, quite dominant down there. What European cars did we get this patch? DB11. Yeah, I expected the, the the GT40 to be more. I mean, the pricing of cars is a bit odd for me. Like, personally, again, it's like an odd development decision because you don't want to make the things that you add to the game inaccessible to people. And, you know, for example, the, the Jag and the... Uh, the Ferrari that came in the other patch, a combined cost of 40 million, which is the credit cap twice over. It's just, yeah, it's a bit silly, really. I get having things that are true to life, but bloody hell, that's a lot of colour selection. All the colours in the rainbow available for the, uh, the DB11. I still love the way that you can change the uh, the colour of the car in uh, the rolling demos. So good. And the interior changes as well, look. <laughs> it's awesome. Little touches. So good. Uh, I don't think there are any new Renault cars. I just think it's because I've not been into the... Uh... Well, I think the Renault Sport is uh, museum I'm pretty certain it is museum it is same with mini BMW is obviously the uh, M3 and a beautiful car
iconic M3 silhouette. I think it's the E30. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. So much in these content updates though. I know I've moaned a bit about the BOP uh, changes and stuff like that, but to get 13 cars on a track again for free, you can't really complain. Really looking forward to the Super GT cars as well. Really looking forward to it. Don't really care too much for the uh, the other skyline. I mean, it's another skyline. And another. Even though it's not called the skyline anymore, really. This is what we want. Very excited to uh, to drive these. Apparently, they're a good amount faster than Group Three as well. Which is uh, exciting. Yep, 2017 GTI Nismo is included. So this is. Uh, I believe Jensen Button's uh, ride for this season. I think it'll cost a, few, uh, a bit more than 800,000 credits though. Looking forward to seeing Jensen in Super GT actually. Seeing what he can do. It's a good uh, exposure for the sport as well. I mean, Super GT is a, a very fun series to watch. But probably doesn't get the exposure it deserves, especially in Europe. <laughs> like all Japanese motorsport really. Super Formula, stuff like that. Probably because it's just not shown on TV enough. I mean, I, I actually don't know where Super GT is shown in the UK. Maybe BT Sport, something like that. You get a highlights package or something. So the uh, new, the RX-7. Seen that in a fair few games. Two Lexi. Alan Partridge. Lexi. Uh... We've got the Emerald Frey Racing 2017. Don't know the difference between those two really, if there is a difference. A bit more aggressive looking, I guess. Probably down to the livery. Do like the RCF. Looks really nice as a race car. And we've got the uh, big Super GT brother. Look at those wheel archers, flipping heck. Set up camp underneath one of them. Uh, it, might, it might be minus that difference, but uh, I'm pretty certain the... Performance wise, I'm pretty certain they're very similar. I'll have to see, uh, I'll have to try them. Uh, and then finally, we've got the uh, Modified muscle and the Red Bull cars. That is uh, beautiful, to be fair. I mean, just tightening it up so far, you're going to need at least. Whew. If I can do some sort of quick mathematics, you're going to need at least. Well, we've not even looked at the Red Bull cars yet. 350,000 for the junior, which I think I'll buy now and do the junior races with. And three mil that's not actually that bad. Three million for the X2014. The worst thing as well is I, I was doing the um, the best of British races the other night. Uh, and I didn't have the, the X2014 is right there. Um, didn't have the cars that I needed. I didn't have the F-Type and I didn't have the Toyota uh, TS 050 hybrid, 
So I had to sell my Formula One car to buy those two. I was uh, very disappointed. Yeah, that car's insane. I remember it from. Uh, I think I played GT five when that first dropped. I thought it was like GT Prologue, something like that. Very cool. All right, so what we're gonna do is we'll start off today in the Gran Turismo Red Bull X two thousand fourteen Junior because it is the car that we can afford. Car I'm looking forward to driving also. Oh, that looks nice. We'll take that. Uh, and then we'll do some career races. I know it's going to be kind of boring doing career races. I appreciate that. But I need some credits. I'm going to grind enough credits to get a Super GT car. See what those are like. I do like that Junior though. It looks really nice. It'll be interesting to see what it's like on this game as well. <laughs> Hopefully nice and chuckable, nice and pointy. I was stabbed. Wasn't expecting Sakuba, so I kind of mentioned it in a chat room the other day, like we could potentially get the Sakuba kind of thing. But I was more expecting Fuji. I didn't expect Sakuba at all. So I think the uh, Super GT actually opens at Fuji this year. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, that's Super GT Championship. Where's the Red Bull Junior one? If it's an amateur league, I'm going to cry. It is. Because the credit... I think the credit's going to be terrible. Oh, look at that. Looks like it was meant to happen. So, eight laps of Sakuba. So we're going to try out the new track in a new car. I think we will get Fuji eventually. I think the pressure is on Califini to kind of deliver tracks like Le Mans, Spa, and Silverstone as well, though. So I don't, I don't know. Also, you're kind of in a lose lose situation if you're Califini because you've got all the old tracks like Deep Forest and Grand Valley that everyone really, really, really wants. How old is that? to turn one. Some controls on. Turn that off. The other cornering catches you by surprise. This would make a really nice car for a series, I think. Get out of the way. I hate racing AI. No matter where you're on the track, he just wants to take his line there. Like, it doesn't matter where I am in that situation. There's a place on the track that he's supposed to be, according to the program of the game. And he's going to fucking take it, regardless. God's sake. right on the apex of the corner. But it's quite difficult, especially on a little track like this, to get clean race bonuses. But these dingbats, it would be... is very nice. Make it a really nice series car, as I said. The cube is a great track as well. Look at that last corner. Hey, 
just stopped dead. It's not even a tight corner. The race bonus is gone, so it's going to be super aggressive from now. Bloody AI. really deceptive because you feel like you're braking way too late but because it's an uphill braking zone the car just stops dead. for you guys. I want to see the whole car. Oh my god. We're gone. Oh, I couldn't save it. It's really weird. I have like a really odd disconnect from the car when I'm in this view. I can't I can see what the car's doing, but it tells me lies, if that makes any sense. I, I rather feel it and see it. Definitely need to pull the through there, I think. I have missed Sakuba. It is a very technical little track. really nice on traction. Not a difficult car to drive out of corners at all. You can really push it into corners as well on the brakes. Just reacts a bit badly sometimes mid-corner when you're asking a lot of the tyres. through the last corner here. Don't think the curve helps really. That first corner is so deceptive. seven times faster than me, that's slightly embarrassing. Past the Maldonado.
a lot of fun that. Mm. Huge amount of fun that car. Mm. No halos around here. This is real racing. <laughs> oh man. Give me something nice for the daily workout, please. Be, be kind. I, to be fair, that race was not a chore at all. Like, in terms of, like, a credit grind. Enjoyed that a lot. Let's have a quick look at the daily workout. Uh, hopefully, I'll pull a decent car. Got fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed in the chat. Is there even anything? Oh, is that the GT40? We'll take that. Hey! I don't know where my music's gone. But whatever. It's not even the GT40. Oh my god. Duh, duh. That is the ultimate bait. The ultimate bait and switch. I feel like we've just been robbed. We've been duped. Uh, group 3 and Group 1 and 1 making the new RX-7. We'll give that a go in a bit. Has the uh, layout of that changed? A quick look. Can't believe we've just been bait and switched like that. I don't know if Championship Calendar... Don't think we had the calendar before, did we? If we did, I've never used it. Is there a Sakuba Circuit experience yet? I don't know if there's a. Nope. Let's go back to our GT League then, where we've done a grand total of three races over our. Uh, Gran Turismo career. You can tell how much I like career mode. Let's try uh, we'll, go for, we'll go Maggiore. Or do, do people want to see Sakuba again? I don't mind. Let me know. I do love a bit of Sakuba to be fair. I didn't realise that uh, the calendar was actually there. Just trying to work. Uh, we'll go Maggiore. I feel like my uh, my chat on my phone's a bit behind what I'm actually saying. So. The Junior is very nice though. Definitely recommend buying it. Lots of grip. Just trying to get enough credits together to get a Super GT car. Have a think about which one it is you want me to buy. I'm leaning towards the NSX because Jensen Button. But you guys let me know. We'll have a vote in chat and whichever, uh, whichever wins, wins. See if we can get a clean race out of this. Oh, there we go. Another car a bit. Oi, oi, oi. The turning of this oh, fuck, fuck, so. the 
said him that this car is insane. That's so much grip. And this is racing hard tyres, it's not like we're running super softs or softs or anything like that. I surprised me, I broke way too early for the last corner then, but it felt like it was too late. So what? Don't forget guys, you can get involved with the community on our little official Discord, there's a link to that in the description of today's stream. We're also having a little competition at the moment to find a uh, new livery editor for F4H. Producing some uh, GT Sport paints for us to use in our series. If you think that's you, again pop into the Discord, show me some, uh, show me some of your work. Bastard. Uh, show me some of your work and uh, we'll use the best ones. streaming this morning, obviously, that's what we're doing right now. Um, I'm off work today, so I'm going to spend the afternoon with my uh, family to do a, uh, an Easter egg hunt, I believe. Fun. Uh, and then I will make a video tonight. This video will focus on balance of power changes. Probably focus on one class at a time. I think putting them all into one video is going to fry my brain and yours. So. Probably do group four tonight. See how things shake out. Because the M4 has been nerfed into the floor, so it's time for a new uh, pretender to the group four throne to uh, come to the surface. Got a hunch it's going to be uh, either the Alpha or the Atenza, but we're going to find out either way. I did intend on doing a video the other night when I that was I going then. Uh, did intend on doing a video the other night, but for whatever reason the upload failed and I thought, you know what, I'm streaming today anyway, so people want to have back pocket for all the time. Pretty sure we can go flat through there, I just every time I go through there. That corner has a tendency of making a car go really light, like on the power, and you've got no weight over the rear wheel to spin. But in this car, no danger of that. too early for this corner this time. Now! No! So I just, uh, just wanted to do a stylish 360. Let's 
that must be humans. We've never taken around the outside twice now. stylish but honestly this car is absolutely brilliant to drive so you've got a spare 350,000 credit time around and you've got all the cars you want from the back thoroughly recommend so much fun begin to imagine what it will be like with the uh, softer rubber on. So I think you can in this series actually have racing softs on. That's what it says in the rules anyway. I don't think it affects your prize money so I might strap those on for the next race, go back around to Sakuba or something like that. Or we grind some creds. That. I'm having some sound issues. No, this isn't this isn't an online race. <laughs> I wish. Right. It'd be cool if they did use the junior in the online races though. I'd be very happy with that. Yeah, maximum tar rate in the racing soft lot. So what lap time did we do round Sakuba before? It was a 50 something, 54.7? Where we got embarrassed by the AI doing a 54.1 or something like that. Let's try the, uh, let's try the racing soft tyres at Sakuba. I feel like these races, <coughs> sorry, aren't particularly long for the amount of credits you get as well. What a Maggior cow. Or a Sakuba. We're going to find out either way. I don't know why it keeps putting traction control back on. Turned it off. Twice. Sitting on apexes, going slow.
<laughs> oh, I got wait for me. That's kind. I don't think you have much choice. Pushing too hard. Done it again! Where am I going? There is actually a short track, just a few be short, but it doesn't go that short, I don't think. You go uh <coughs> You go around to the right a little bit later than that. <coughs> oh my god. It's all gone Pete Tongue. going into the last lap. So what do we do? We push hard. And if we crash, we crash. If I want to get a 51 something. Down on the first sector as well, which means we're going to have to push even harder. Nice through there. Alright, through there. Are we going to be purple? Yeah. There, which is going to cost us a bit of time, so it's all on this last corner, I think. The line was a bit shallow. <laughs> Track and car combo a lot. Yeah, if I think if you if you'd have to get the line perfect if you're going to try and take that flat. Were you on the uh, soft tyres at Maggiore, Carlo? Were you on the? Uh... Credit grind, professional event, premier event. Yeah, it, you're right. It is. I just want to use something new. Like I don't just want to do like a shitty credit grind on stream or whatever. I want to try and showcase new stuff if possible. There were other uh, new races as well, weren't there? It's the endurance ones. New one at Mount Panorama. It's nice that they're adding to the uh, single player aspect of the game as well each time. Midship challenge. Two more races in there. They've put Super GT in, but not put Sakuba in. 200k per race, though. 
Not bad for 10 laps. Yeah, it's premium sports lounge where you get all your credits. I did the Maggio race in the uh, crossbow. And earned a decent amount. I think you can also earn something nice from uh, from these. If you used an underpowered Ferrari of some sort. Oh man, I hate being gated by credits. I just want to show you guys all the new stuff. Yeah, I'll have a look at VR time trial. Let's have a quick, uh, quick gander. I don't know if it, the option will be open to me. VR tour. Yeah, won't go any further than that. I do have access to a PSVR. My uh, dad has got one. But I don't know how well VR would potentially translate onto the stream. I mean, we can always try it if he's feeling particularly generous and wants to lend it me for a couple of days. <coughs> oh, I just wish I had like some circuit experience to grind or something like that. The credit gain on that is nice. You know what, we'll do... Let's try this RX-7. One make racing. <sighs> 109. 't know if you can hear me guys but I'm just gonna quickly check my connection because I've just about everything in my house has just crashed I think <clears throat> I am playing with a wheel yes I'm on the logitech g29 I can still see chat coming through on my Mac it's just not coming through on my phone for whatever reason disconnect from the Wi-Fi. If you can avoid it guys, don't go with Sky. Absolutely tremendously shocking internet provider in the UK. Right, I think we're back up and running. So let's give it another blast. Yeah, I'll see you in some races, Carl, I'm sure. 
It's a much more fun way to grind credits, I think. This compares to the junior. Oh my god, not well. I know I said uh, the kid was a drift track, but what was that? Driving on custom. What's it doing? Yeah, this is not a nice car to drive. It's all over the place. This last corner is going to be absolute hell. Touch the power because the car just like I don't know how much horsepower this car's got, but how on earth? Is it spinning there? You have to be more careful on the power in this than you're doing a flipping. Formula One car, Group Three, something like that. I know the tyres are only sports hard, but God, it's a boat. It's an absolute boat. RX7 for Buki, the new RX7, but the old RX7 for Buki. Apparently, you can't you can't use any power in. So if you do, God, this is horrendous. barely touching the power at a point so it's just wanting to spin. At first I thought it was because I'd gone from driving the junior to driving a stock car but I am certain it is because it is absolute. Shit. 
and take a tighter line around the last corner. If you don't get on the power because you will die. Again in time. Don't dare steer. That corner especially. Like, come on. I don't, I don't understand this car at all. Like, what on earth is going on? I feel like I'm being trolled. literally cannot do anything in this car. You can't turn because it oversteers like an absolute boat. You can't get on the power because it oversteers like an absolute boat. You can't brake hard because it oversteers like an absolute boat. It's not like you can kind of like abuse the oversteer either and use it to your advantage because it's borderline uncontrollable oversteer. Incredibly frustrating car to drive this. Oh, come on! It's a bloody curve! It's like... Jesus Christ. It's literally a flat-out curve. Barely any elevation change, and this car's just like... Nah. Just can't do it. I'm 
were sitting, this car was designed by polyphony as some sort of torture device. It's the only logical explanation for how bad it is. Guessing we didn't beat our lap. <coughs> Man! This is. Oh god, drop my phone. Everything, everything's gone peaked on. Yeah, I can't this might be a good idea in this car actually. 
That is a solid bit of advice. Solid bit of advice. Oh my days. That is bloody horrendous, that car. Let's try again. <coughs> Throw away the next lap as well for a terrible run. Look at 
chat while I'm uh, trying not to pull my own hair out. So look at the ground second, he never goes into fourth. Um, Solid advice. two tenths off the top ten. Provided no one's improved. This is not a nice car to drive. At all. When it's fourth, completely ignoring what Rui just said. It's habit. <coughs> Quite odd, actually. The uh, third gear is deceptively long. Literally barely on the power. Catch up with chat. Right. A one oh nine two I need for top ten, I think. Unless it's changed in the last ten minutes or so.
ada lagi pas itu I bloody hate this car. ramming our head into a brick wall on the new track, driving what is quite possibly one of the worst cars I've driven on a game ever, the RX-7. I think it's got an FD on the end of the name, the FD stands for fucking disgraceful. At least uh, Mazda were honest when they were naming it. So massively addictive. I can't stop driving it. Even though I hate it. Terrible last corner.
passes me in third round there. Yeah, the races in this will be fun, I think. Provided there's not a load of contact, which I think this car could potentially throw up. It's hard enough to drive when you're on the track on your own, never mind surrounded by other people. So it's going to be close racing. The track's only a minute long. Problem is, on my best lap, I absolutely nailed it. I'm going to every lap down on time, no matter what. Oh god, a bit too greedy on the power. It's that corner that make or break, makes or breaks your lap. It's such a long straight after it, you need to absolutely nail it.
shallow into that corner. It's going to cost me all the way down the straight. Solid last corner, I think. That's going to be enough for a top ten. through the final corner. I thought we might uh, might improve twice in a row there. This is horrible. Right. Let's see if that gets in there. The track is good. The track is very good. Oh, come on. I've driven bloody ages and I get 6,000 credits. Bloody terrible. And we'll find out as well that... Oh, I'm just in. I'm just in. Screenshot. <laughs> oh my god, what a horrible, horrible... Combo. Right, let's get into a race. So, seven minutes time, so we've got a bit of time to uh, have a drink, relax, try and get over the horrors. that car and track combo before we uh, attack it again. The whole aim of uh, this little exercise was to get enough credits together to um, have a look at the Super GT cars. <laughs> wow, that went well. My problem is I get sidetracked when I'm trying to go for a lap time or something like that and I will literally sit there and hammer it and hammer it and hammer it until I've got the lap time that I want to get. Definitely worth watching what the uh, top guys are doing that are half a second past the way. Why does it keep changing my view? But it's changed my TCS as well. It has. Everything in my power to not uh, oh, I need that. taking everything in my power not to change up into force as well. Set really.
I'm literally below half power. I don't think I ever went above half power around that corner. So why the car's spinning, I do not know. Just looping and a sweeper. It's not like I'm booting it out of a bloody hairpin or anything like that. So, the only thing I don't like on this game, I don't feel like you feel the cars go. Like, by the time, at least on a wheel the car is going to spin. It's very difficult to uh, to catch it back. You don't feel things until it's too late. Bloody hate this car! <laughs> and these friggin' tyres. Imagine this on comfort tyres. Flippin' heck. Undrivable. It's like if it's anything below a racing tyre, there's zero grip in this game. Turn in, and we're round again. <sighs> it's weird though, because like this car's supposed to be in its torque range here. Almost impossible to spin it. I'm soaring the wheel from side to side, trying to get some... So Inconsistent in the way that it... It's bloody horrible, that's what it is. If this is drifting, I don't want a part of it. drift anyway, my drifting skills are non-existent. Right, stop, you absolute slug of a car. Stop!
pretty certain that that was going to be my fastest lap. Almost certain that was going to be my fastest lap. Hey, we've got Cal in here. There he is. Fifth position. Another one from the top ten right below me. I think that's basically the position below. I'm almost, if, so if I'd done a point five and I was almost four tenths up then and climbing, I think we'd have probably been into the 109 zeros with that last lap. We can go faster. Oh, we've got Rui in here as well. Start, whoa, this is all a bit different. Uh, my warm up is going to be me going for a pee, so I'm going to be back in a second, guys. Good time in. <sighs> I've changed all the uh, the menus by the looks of things. So, poll position. Place your bets, chat. Six laps. What lap do I spin on? Because it is inevitable. Got Oscar the Spaniard behind me. Place your bets also. Do we get rear ended into turn one? I'm going to say potentially. Also, no idea where to break here. Absolutely no idea where to break. I'm going to go for here. I think that was a solid enough effort. I just need to hold the brakes ever so slightly longer just to pinch the car in towards the apex a little bit more it tightens a little bit just ever so slightly late apex it and get on the power nice and early nice little lead so far all we got to do i think in this race is just not stupid drive within ourselves a little bit a bit wide through the sweeper collect that up nicely on the curb on the left side Fourth. F4H Rosso stream represent. Caught quite a lot through there. To 
make sure we're not in the uh, slipstream range of that guy behind us. Because that's when things are going to start to get tasty. Nice exit out of there though, pulling away from him. Gonna get a little bit of toe, but not enough, I don't think, really. Nice and calm through the final turn. Made a bit of time on him as well there. A bit deep into turn one. Keep that gap around a second. It'll be okay. Let's attack this first apex this time. Much better through that. Purple first centre. That's what we want to see. Cal with a 1093 in the race. Needs that lap in quality. Be right up the sharp end with us too. Nice lead over second now, really broken this lap. Please no penalty. No! I don't believe it. Extremely harsh, I feel. was absolutely horrendous. A penalty for running wide. Oh my god. We very, 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 very nearly chucked that one away. 
just again pushing uh, pushing too hard. All my music's gone from this game. I don't understand why. It's our fortieth victory, so a little milestone. You don't get enough credits for races. Well, that's a six lap race and I got nothing. And I've just won in a, a lobby with top tens in it. Got Calster in there who's well capable of a top ten. Rui in there who's super fast. Doesn't make any sense. But I get... You know, 15 grand. It's just stupid really. Yeah, I got a penalty for going wide. Doesn't make any sense. Um, I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. I really want to try out some of the new Super GT cars, but we're absolutely nowhere near in terms of credits. Absolutely nowhere near. Bloody annoying. You should be able to pay for cars with mileage points as well. I've lost pretty much everything, Rui. I've got no... I've got menu noise. But I've got no noise in-game whatsoever, pretty much. In terms of, like, music. Menu noise, etc, etc. Let's have a quick check. I've got background music off, which is normal. I've got background music in transmission mode, but transmission mode means absolutely nothing on this apparently because I still get copyright strikes and I can't be bothered to deal with them. So I might as well just turn all the music off. Please use the BMW. I can do the BMW, I think. I've got enough credits for the BMW. <coughs> Your wish is my command. Uh, I'm screaming. Uh, screaming. I'm not screaming. Ah! Um, I'm streaming with an Elgato HD60S. Ordered my webcam as well, so that should be here pretty soon. So you'll be able to see what my feet are doing. Or see my face entirely up to you guys. Wait a minute, is that 200k? I can't do it. I can't do it, Gordy. Thanks, Vladislav. Appreciate it, man. Officially the best team in Forza Motorsport. It was a... Uh, very uh, proud moment. Been a lot of hard work over the last couple of years to make it happen. Recruited those guys. Uh, so Zach came on board first. He was recruited by the old you know, president of F4H. And then we uh, recruited Dan, who's a Force One, and then Tobin, who's racers. Uh, pretty much, well, almost at the same time. There's a few months between them. And they've matured massively and grown into some really, really, really... Uh, Really, really formidable drivers, which uh, has obviously been proven last week. So we are the FRC champions. It's extremely cool. I think we'll go back to the credit grind. I know it's boring, I'm sorry. But I really want to try the... Uh... I've got the crossbow, yeah. Let's uh, do a couple of crossbow races, I guess. 10 laps. How much how much money do you get for this? I, don't, I can't remember. Over 80 times. Flipping heck. No thanks, Jeff.
<laughs> the rocket was cool. The Jay Leno tank car. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting my webcam. I think it adds uh, another level of immersion to the stream. I'd like to play music as well. Because obviously in the menus it can get a bit boring. But YouTube's never going to allow that to happen. I just get copyright strikes on absolutely everything. Everything's going uh, to be with this. It is. From what I can remember, this car isn't particularly nice to drive. Why have I got the weight max? I have no idea. It's just the best way I could fit it into N300, I think. what's most time efficient because obviously 10 laps of this is going to take about 20 minutes whereas the Red Bull race takes about 7 minutes and gives me 65k without a clean race bonus I've not got a single one breaking in the weirdest place ever Dan did absolutely amazing this weekend. They all did. They all did. Dead proud of him. And it takes F4H up to a, a completely different level. So there's some very exciting things to come in the next uh, few weeks regarding F4H and our uh, plans for the future. Do I dare ever take this guy through here? Okay, I'm going for it. Oh my god, that was too close. Some really exciting stuff in the pipeline, obviously I can't tell you about it yet because it kind of affects our uh, market position, I guess. I don't know how to describe it. For those of you that don't know, not only do I uh, race slash stream, I also run F4H along with uh, a chap called Tyler. So F4H is essentially the uh, Baby. Very, very time consuming, but very rewarding at the same time. Inside of it. Um, yeah, very time consuming, but very rewarding at the same time. Then it's, uh, you can 
obviously see the lack of uh, lack of videos on my channel. I do try and do as much as possible in a week, but at the moment I'm working a lot, doing six days a week due to uh, some circumstances at work. Then I'm obviously trying to run F4H in the evening and throughout the day even trying to do YouTube, family life. Just, uh, very stressful time at the moment, but very exciting too, so hopefully it'll all be worth it. Oh, don't be a dickhead. Thank God. And we can just concentrate on pottering around. Making sure we get those sweet credits. I'm trying to avoid the temptation of chasing lap times because that's my uh, absolute vice. Breaking there. Absolute donut. This guy's going to break any second. I can't even my own breaking points throwing me off that much. Right, let's catch the farmer out front. Relax a bit. Uh, why don't I stream on Twitch? Um, I'm so since October I've grown by a massive amount, like from 100 subs to almost 3,000 now. I don't want to, at this early stage, force people to change the way they watch. So Twitch is probably better, in fact it is better, it's probably better for everyone. But there's a reason I think everyone watches me on YouTube, I think there's a reason. It's good that everything's in one place, my videos and my streams, so I think we'll keep it that way for now. Uh, but I suppose we could stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. My uh, connection can handle it.
yeah, there's, there's that as well. That's the um, the other kind of side of the sword. So, for whatever reason, people that watch GT Sport seem to consume all of their content via YouTube. All of the big streamers are on YouTube, so you've got Z28, um, GTR, Super GT. They all use YouTube. So, at the same time, if you use Twitch, not only are you kind of risking alienating your community, but also you're risking kind of segregating yourself from the community as well. In fact, obviously I know that you guys, you know, like the streams or like the videos or whatever, otherwise you wouldn't be here. But also I know that a lot of you guys watch other streamers and watch other people's videos and things like that. And I don't want to be the guy that basically says, I'm over here on this little island doing my own thing. And if you want to come and watch me, you've got to download an entirely new app, so I'm an entirely new account. I'm an entirely new app. I know a lot of people use Twitter. I don't know, I just I think at the moment kind of my channel is in, in like a fragile state where if I do anything stupid I could kind of put pay to all the growth that we've had over the past few months. I think Twitch is something to consider definitely in the future but at the moment uh, sticking with YouTube is the way to go even though it is very 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 restrictive. Deep into turn one. restrictive for creators I think in terms of how entertaining you can make your streams, the functionality that YouTube has in comparison to Twitch is, is a lot worse. Um, I'm not in streaming for any sort of monetary gain, I do it because I enjoy it, I've got a job, you know, I mean if this was my job at some point. I wouldn't be unhappy about that. It'd be kind of like dream come true kind of levels, but I'm not. The main motivation for this isn't isn't money. Like I've. because that's not kind of my my main aim I don't, I'm not here to milk people I just want people to have fun and enjoy what we're doing and enjoy it together and get faster together and I mean my, my main aim in GT Sport as far as myself my own personal aspirations in FYH is to be as good as the Forza team and match their kind of output and their uh, you know their respect within the community and things like that so whatever else comes along with that is a bonus. Plus I love the little community we've got as well. I absolutely love it. I don't want to uh, jeopardise that either. I have a lot of people that come and watch me regularly. Uh, I don't want to again alienate those guys. YouTube stream will be getting better anyway. It's not like we're just going to uh, continue at this level. When things have settled down at work, I'll have more and more time free you know, to do what it is that I want to do with the stream and you know, improving it and making it better. Um, 
grateful for feedback at all times like if you guys feel I can do things better if you don't like certain things I would rather know like there's nothing worse in my opinion than someone coming into a video leaving a dislike but not telling you why they don't like it because I know not everyone is going to like everything that's not the aim I know people are going to dislike things people have different opinions people have opinions of me um, you know my to YouTube, my skill, you, know, you read loads of different stuff. Um, but yeah, nothing, nothing worse than having a dislike on a video and not knowing why. So if you guys, if there are things that you guys think I can improve, let me know for certain. Like I want this to be the best channel possible for you guys. that you see other people doing that you think we should do, get involved in, to see things that other people are doing that you don't like and there's a reason that you watch me instead of them or something like that. Again, let me know so we can focus on those things. I want to do more tutorial based stuff as well. I think we've missed a lot of that recently. track guides, maybe start with Sakuba, it's a good time. I think I'm learning a lot at the same time as well, that's the thing, so like my, my Forza knowledge, I think at this point, it's, even though I've never played Forza 7, it's still probably higher than my Gran Turismo knowledge, in the way things work, and what it requires to be fast, and like the, the pinnacle and things like that. But I'm not where I want to be in terms of skill on this game yet, like I want to be the best. And I'm not the best, I'm not, not even close. So. Well, we're absolutely uh, dominating the place. So catch up with what you guys are saying in the chat. We can drive with one hand. What car do I drive outside of GT Sport? Fun fact about me, I do not drive, <clears throat> I don't have a car, I don't have a driving license, I do not drive in real life, only on games. I've just never had the need for a car, I live in, a, it's a big city but a small city, so I can quite easily get around pretty much everywhere, I live quite close to the... Uh, town centre where everything is. It's only a 20 minute walk so don't really have the need for a car. I think if, if that ever changed then I don't think I'd find learning particularly difficult but yeah I don't drive. There you go, there's your fun F4H Rosso factory day. for a bit, give them a bit of room. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I do not drive. Never have. Although if I did own a car, it would be very boring anyway, because I've got two children, so it wouldn't be anything exciting. You're not missing out. <laughs> I'm not uh, a YouTuber that owns anything uh, particularly exotic or anything like that. Yeah, this race takes forever. Like 20, yeah, it's going to be 22 minutes or we'll have to see what we earn kind of do some maths and see if the Red Bull Junior is a, a faster option. I think we'll earn a decent amount of credits from it, so... It wasn't particularly taxing. We've been able to have a good chat, at least. Learn a bit more about me, and hopefully I'll learn a bit more about uh, what you guys enjoy from the back of it as well. And if you do have suggestions, obviously we've got the Discord chat now. You can find the link in the description. Come and join in the conversation. There's a whole section there to ask me questions or make suggestions. 
which I do read. I read the Discord every day. I'm active in the Discord, so feel free to get involved. Nice and simple to use as well, Discord. Really good app. You can use it on your phone. You can use it on a PC, Mac. Basically, it's just like a forum. Or kind of like WhatsApp style forums. Pretty good. Enjoy it quite a lot. The first race on Premium Lounge is much shorter. Okay. Uh, if I could drive and money was no object. What would I own? <laughs> I've always had the same answers to this question. So I'd buy whatever was the most expensive car in the world, like a Ferrari 250 California or something like that. Sell it. <laughs> Use the money that's left over. And I, I don't know why... But I've always had a thing for the TVR Cigaris. I don't know why, because it's one of those cars where I've got absolutely no doubt that you'll be 100% happy with it for about 12 minutes when something goes wrong with it. But I don't know, something about the styling of the car, the sound of the car, the TVR brand I've always liked. The old TVRs, the Griffith, the Cerbera. So yeah, for some reason a TVR Cigaris. I don't know why. It's just a car that speaks to me for some reason. Plus, they come in some amazing colours. TVR used to do some beautiful colours. Like pearlescent paint, sunburst paint just looked crazy and they looked unlike anything else on the road. It's a shame that TVR went the way it did to be fair. I've kind of tried reviving it now about 5,000 times but right race done. If we don't get our clean race bonus here I'm probably going to jump out the window. That's not a bad idea, Andy. The, the problem is, with streaming, uh, yeah, I've seen that they did it in Griffith, aren't they? Um, yeah, the, pro the problem is with streaming on, yeah, we'll take that, 375,000 credits. It's a nice boost. Again, I've lost all my sound. Only 150 grand we need for a Super GT vehicle. I'm going to see if I've got anything to sell. Rather than grind another racer, I'm gonna see if I've got anything to sell. But yeah, I've been sidetracked again. I was talking to Andy. Yeah, the only problem with streaming GTSRL racers on Twitch is that GTSRL also stream on Twitch, and I don't want to be the guy that basically buries their stream. They deserve a lot of uh, attention. Their streams are good. They're fun to watch. They're nice people. So. Do the first race only ten minutes. What in the crossbow? Is it fast enough? We're about to find out. I'm going to have to sit down, I think, and do a day of credit grinding when I get up to 20 million. The crossbow's fast as yours. I'm not liking the sound of that, Matt. I'm not liking the sound of that at all. This feels like it's going to be a lot of hard work. Let's 
It's got Max. Is that Max? Wait, wait, is that? I can't. I can't tell whether that literally flicks it over the edge. Is that? I can't. Weight reduction ratio. The higher, the better with weight reduction, isn't it? I'm sure it is. There's a setup guide somewhere. Oh man, this seems a uh, seems like a lot of hard work. No setups for me. I'm just gonna go for it. This is probably gonna go incredibly badly. the amount of times I've done Blue Moon Raceway on one finger. We're not going to uh, not going to win this. is working. Alright, that's uh, four minutes of my life. I'm not going to get back. Softs or mediums at the front for better balance. Bloody hell. This was all a bit... Right, the lower the lighter. I'm all over the show here. Weight reduction, weight reduction ratio, 126%. That's... Right, okay. So you want... Softs or mediums at the front for better balance. 
I didn't even know that was a thing. Hundred and four. Hundred and forty in power. I can have hundred and fifty in power. Okay, let's see how fast this can do it. This is what I mean by I don't know enough about this game. Why have you got to be an absolute bastard? I want is some credit so I can drive a super GT car. Why is this Aston got to kill my buzz? Same thing can happen again, I'm pretty certain of it. Pretty sure he hit me. <clears throat> Fuck it, I'm carrying on. 100,000 credits is enough. Faster, you might have some speed as well. I th at least I think we're going faster. I feel like we're going faster. Don't ask me how having medium tyres on the front is better. I don't know. Apparently it is. Don't do that. in the top 10 and we're doing 47s which someone said was enough I don't know if it is enough we're definitely catching first but I don't know if it's fast enough Saying in the chat, I can see him. Me the car gets hard in traffic, that's good. Somehow we were faster through that first corner, despite the fact that we ended up almost off the track. It's weird the way banking works. Never really been an oval racing guy. I 
tried watching NASCAR, I just didn't really have a click with it for whatever reason. IndyCar's alright as long as it's at a street circuit or a racetrack. Consistent. McLaren can have a large slice of fuck off, thank you very much. Get some of that juicy toe from the cars in front. 13 seconds the gap down to now, I think we're going to win this one. Thank you very much for the tips, chat. Saved me a lot of hassle. begins. traffic coming on. seconds to catch up. Six laps to do so. Three seconds to catch up. I hold up quite badly in the traffic. Don't hit me. Why do you have to get so close? He's trying to scare me. He's trying to. He's all over the show. That's what he is. Here he comes again as well. Oh, God. oh my God. And it's the least British name ever as well. What British person have you ever walked into called Mendoza? A lie. There's a Spaniard in disguise trying to mess up my race. Have a 
deep-rooted hatred for El Mendoza, whoever he is. For the love of God. He's just literally tried to, tried to impregnate me. Please, please, Lord. Just let him leave me alone now. We're done. to go and then we can finally buy that sweet NSX Credits for the expo, though, don't you? Crossbow, expo, Bobo. Just a little N300 punching above its weight. that done. Clean bonus went up in smoke. I think about 30 seconds into the race when the Aston Martin hit us. Oh, I've tuned the car flip. That is not a stop crossbow. But you tune it to like the maximum in N300. And basically it looks something like that. Excuse me. <laughs> right, so I'm leaning towards NSX. What car do you guys want me to drive? Yeah, it should be weight 91, power 115, I think. Three to choose from. Hey, mate. Have a, good, have a good time? Yeah. Yeah? Bang for chocolate egg. No way. Yeah. That's amazing. Do you want to say hello to the people? Who are they? Who are they? Mm -hmm. They're watching Daddy play Gran Turismo. Mommy's going to tell me something. Okay, see you later. Right, I think the NSX is going to win it, to be fair. Right, group two. Oh. 
What's the difference? The number doesn't change. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> that's my son, that's Noah. <laughs> Right, Super GT time. Where are we taking it? Pick a track, guys. Where are we going? Or shall we do the campaign race with it? I think there's a campaign Super GT race, isn't there? In here. Ten laps of that. Ten laps of that. Ten laps of that. Ten laps of that seems a lot. Let's do uh, hmm. I do like Yamagiwa. Let's go Yamagiwa. <coughs> it's already gone into that menu. The exhaust looks like a Mercedes logo. Just realised you're in a race with GT3 cars. This is surely not going to be fair. You'd think for the Super GT races to put all Super GT cars together. Off. I'm just going to let me have racing soft tyres. I'm going to have racing soft tyres. Why not? Let's try out this bad boy. So. Honda NSX. Let's show. So. New Super GT car. Looks amazing. On board is amazing. have a huge amount of grip straight off the bat. Well, I say it seems to have it, it has got a huge amount of grip straight off the bat. greedy. Why is he breaking that? The worst part about these races is navigating the traffic. You just do the weirdest things. Slow in the weirdest places, fast in the weirdest places.
third person. First impressions are very good guys, super fun. Trying not to uh, tuck it in a wall here. similar to group 1 than it is to group 3 with how fast they are So much fun to drive, like I can't overstate that enough. It's worth the wait, it's worth the credit grind. Anywhere near extracting the kind of raw pace out of the car either. Oh, maybe. Probably most definitely dip into the uh, low two minutes, maybe 159s. On the right lap. Fifty 
is a bit of a push, I don't know. It feels fast though. It feels faster than I'm able to drive it at the moment. So much grip. like so quick. I was so tunnelled in and like focused then, it was crazy. I don't think I've spoken in about four years. Man, this car is amazing. Absolutely amazing.
so much grip as well. It's like it's almost impossible to uh, to break traction. last words and then he broke my wrist. Breaking of it as well. It's just crazy how fast the thing stops. I'd be interested to know what a Group 1 time here is. What the Group 1 cars can do, because this doesn't feel like it's far off. We've obviously got a straight line disadvantage, grip-wise. It's just so good, so much fun. that magical 159 optimal. I think it can be done. sector I've definitely got maybe a couple of attempts in it.
thoroughly enjoyed every second of that. You can definitely do a 150 something. Insane car. That was so, so, so good. Like, genuinely, so good. Just ridiculously quick they're so crazily fast I don't think I've done it a, a group one lap around that track so I, d I don't know what kind of like the benchmark would be but those group two cars are not hanging around at all let's have a look see if I have done a group one lap around there ever Just insane. So good, that car. Just masses of grit. They're going to be really fun to race. Oh, man, you are so lucky, Matt. I used a soft car. Seventeen seconds a lap faster than the left type group three. So not even close. But no group one time. <coughs> It'd be interesting to see how that car behaves on the hard tires, but I can't imagine that the uh, characteristics will change that much. Obviously you'll lose time, but I still think the grip will be insane. And we're actually somehow back up at the credits that we started today on. Uh, open lobby, when's the next open lobby? Well, we've got a lot to get our teeth into, haven't we? We've got loads of new stuff. I think group four is about 47. Yeah. I reckon so. Yeah, the group two cars do sound really good. Oh, we've seen when you've uh, when you've got a scape, a rolling scape going now, you can uh, hit triangle and go straight to the uh, the showroom for the car. That's cool. Uh, well, yeah, what was I saying? Uh, open lobbies. That's what that's it. Uh, I'm just trying to think. Let me have a couple of work rotor for the week. See when I've got some time free to do some open lobby madness. Okay, so I'm in on Saturday until 7. Obviously, it's Easter Sunday, so don't expect anything on Sunday. Uh, 11, 7, 11, 7. So, yeah, I finish at 7 o'clock on Saturday. So maybe open lobby Saturday night. That'd be a good, uh, a good time, I think.
that was a, a huge amount of fun to take that car around there. A huge amount of fun. Uh, so I think, guys, half past one, that's me done. Uh, it's been a decent decent amount of streaming, decently long stream. Uh, but I have uh, plans for this afternoon. Very fun plans. I'm going to go get some lunch and then head out to the park. Do some egg hunting, go on some uh, fairground rides, should be fun. Uh, but uh, I'll try and get a video out later, as I said earlier. Uh, potentially. It, it depends on uh, a few things what I end up doing, but we'll try and do maybe a power rankings video for uh, for Group 4. Because it depends on time. I don't want to release something and it'd be completely wrong or anything like that. So tonight's video might just be a daily race or. Maybe a hot lap in Super GT or something like that. But nevertheless, oh, well maybe maybe do something with the X2014 actually. <laughs> Seeing as my Tomahawk video has now hit 100,000 views. That Tomahawk video is the bane of my life. I get comments on it every day. Calling me a scrub. Calling me this. Calling me that. Calling Gran Turismo this. Calling Gran Turismo that. It's fun. Um, but yeah, we'll do, we'll do an X2014 video at some point because I'm a, a glutton for punishment apparently. Uh, but yeah, have a good afternoon, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. I know it's a bit of a uh, bit of a weird one in the morning when we do DLC day, but appreciate the support. Uh, and I will see you all this evening for a video of, of some description. But uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in as always, guys. Maximum love. And see you later.